So hello and welcome. It is Monday and it is Power Week, which means that the Power BI desktop team has released the uh, new update, the October 2018 update, and it's packed, packed, packed with new features. When it comes to Power Query, we have two new features. Number one, data profiling. Number two, fuzzy matching. And um, that fuzzy is absolutely amazing. Who knew the tech was so exciting? Anyhow, I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay, so the Power BI team has been busy, busy, busy working to release features. And this time we have for Power Query, two new features. The first one is called Data Profiling. This feature is in preview, so you have to, you know, take it on the options, yeah, file, options, options, and then the uh, preview feature. So make sure that you just, you know, take it. Uh, da, 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 da. The column profiling and fuzzy merge. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to notice is that you get a green line in there. And that is basically a visual representation of how your data looks like. I think they did a gorgeous job just because it's visual, because you don't have to open it. So what does that green line mean? Well, let me go to a place where there are a few lines. So uh, here, for example, we have two columns, we have two lines. As you can see, one is completely green, the, the other one is green blackish. Um, Oh, to check it out, you have a pop-up, I didn't that earlier. So it is telling you that you have 86% of the values are valid. You have zero errors and 2% empty. I don't know, sometimes empty is a valid value, but you know. So if you want to see that without the pop-up, you just go to view and column quality. You click that and then you will see for each row or each column of your data set. And this is, I think, very, very useful to identify errors on your columns. Uh, so you have that. You have also a column distribution. And I'll show you in a second what that does. So it says that this column has 10 distinct values and 6 unique. This has 7 distinct values and 3 unique. What is the difference between distinct and unique? And once I tell you, you're going to know, but I, I, it got me scratching my head a few times. I'm going to tell you. But to exemplify this, I, I, I've created a case that it was not so messy as the one I'm showing you. So this is, let me do it in here because it's going to be so much easier. So we have a column with values and we have uh, nine values, you can see it here. So we have nine records, nine records. Perhaps this is, this is like super clear for you. It wasn't for me, that's why I'm doing this. So nine records, so distinct, what is? So distinct is the distinct that we always see that, that this horrible color, maybe blue. Distinct is the normal distinct function that you will find in Excel or in DAX. And what it does is, okay, I have four A's, I have two B's, I have one C, one D, and one E. So distinct values, I do have five, right? So A, B, C, D, E. So I have five distinct values. So what is unique? The name says it all. Obviously, one once they, you know, I, I, I found the explanation. It was like super clear. Unique is basically the values that occur only once. So in this case, we have one C, one D, one E. So we have three unique values. So that is the difference between distinct and unique in case you didn't know. I didn't. So that's why I'm doing the explanation. I, I just couldn't figure it out. Like, what? What is that? So this is what the data profiling feature is doing on the October 2018 update. I'm sure it will do more in a year from now, but it is really useful. 
uh, it is a way to start visualizing your data even when you have a lot so if you have a few rows like here it doesn't matter but otherwise it just makes a difference so now for the second feature for power query that's really really cool it is a fuzzy uh, matching or merging. Um, let me show you. I'm going to remove this col column distribution, column quantity. I think that line, it just helps us enough. Um, so I have here, I have two tables. I have one where I have names, normal names, uh, that they are formatted in different ways. And you will find this all over the place. You know, registers are not that correct as we would like. And then I have a list of names. There are the correct names you know the, the unique values where those are the values that i want to find and you know when you are merging these without let, let's do it if we go here to the first name stable and i want to merge it with my second name stable and i'm not going to use this fast and much and i'm going to do the way that power query would do we choose the columns we say okay and then let's see what it found and he couldn't match any of them because he's looking for exact matches and none of those were exact because on table two I have uh, capital letters everywhere, uppercase everywhere. So now this is where the magic happens. If we go to names two and I use fuzzy matching. This is a lot of fun. Okay, first, he said, set the threshold. Here's the thing. There is a, I don't know how to call it, algorithm that goes through the names and it tries to find matching things. And then it will return a confidence interval for that. I, we can't see it here. I know that in integration systems on the sys packets, you can. Here, you can't. So it's just like, mm. so the threshold is how certain do you want Power Query to be when doing the match. While doing this example or preparing this example, I tried all kinds of confident intervals and it never re gave me a different result. I don't know if it's because they are too simple or no idea. But the idea here is that you say, I wanted to be very, very sure that, you know, the, the matches are correct. So in case of doubt, just don't put anything, basically. Or you can say, give it a go, <laughs> basically. Here is ignore case, ignore spaces. I have spaces everywhere, dots where it shouldn't be. And this is the number of matches you want to get. So if there are two names that look similar, should we return one or two? I'm going to show you the difference of those. Let's put one for now. And then I guess this transformation table is a table that you can, you have like, you know, names too. This is, these are real names, match it with this instead. Okay. And then let's check it out and see how well it did. And you can see that it did pretty good job. So you have Ruth, Pablo, Peter, and then Maria Rosario, Maria del Rosario. Uh, even if there's like spaces and all kind of crap. What he couldn't do that well it was when it were dots. And I think for the sys packets, you can actually put delimiters. Here I couldn't put them, so maybe in, in the future, hopefully. Uh, and the, because I put match one, it just gave me one. But if we go back here and I put uh, maximum number of matches two, if he finds a name that could match with two different names, he will actually give it to us. So Ruth is only Ruth, Peter and Pablo is only Peter and Pablo, but Maria Rosario, we had Maria Rosario, Maria de Rosario, and Mar Rosario. So this is what he's saying. Maria de Rosario matches Maria de Rosario, and Maria Rosario matches quite close Mar Rosario. This is where I was hoping that the confidence interval would, if I put 0 0.9, Mar Rosario will not show up. It did. I don't know why. Uh, and if I put three in the cases 
because on the name to table I have Maria Rosario, Mar Rosario, Maria del Rosario, it will match all three when in doubt. So then it's up to you to choose which one you think is the correct one. If I put one, it did quite a good job, so I'm going to leave it with one. Because Maria Rosario was much with Maria Rosario and not with Maria Mara Rosario. How good is this? I think it's really good, actually. Uh, I really wish that we have this delimiter thing. So, like I said, this dot is a delimiter. Ignore it. Maybe we'll come very soon. But I think this is really good. Right? Okay. So, this is... Uh, all for power query functions, what do you think? I think they're quite good, actually. I really love this fuzzy thing. Who knew? Um, anyhow, I will see you again on Wednesday. So until then, take care and let me know what you think about the desktop power query update. So I know. Until then, take care. Bye.